Hello and welcome to this Facebook Live. Here we are going to talk about how to engage and support your audience, your podcasting audience right now. We're all going through just some big changes in our lives, many of us working from home for the first time. And it's, you know, it's a doozy. There's a lot to um, think about and try to balance and learn. And anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And let's just kind of go for it. And I'm gonna run through some ideas that I wanted to share with you. And before I say too much more, I do wanna whew, let you know that I'm pregnant. <laughs> Many people who follow me already know this, um, but I uh, I am running out of breath because of the pregnancy. So if I like pause a number of times, it's because I'm running out of breath. So thank you everyone who's joining. Feel free to send in questions or ask me uh, anything that is pertinent to the topic of today. And again, we are talking about how to engage with your podcast audience right now, how to make sure you're supporting them. And if you have a different um, business or brand or way that you reach out with people, these suggestions, these tips will also be valuable to you. So let's do it. Uh, hello, Martin. Thank you so much for joining. Hey, Pat and Deb. Hello, Charlotte. It's nice to see you all here. All right. So First and foremost, if you have a podcast, um, a YouTube video, YouTube channel, you can add a call to action. So if this is, if you don't have this in there already, think about the format or the structure of your show and how you can include a segment or a way to start really engaging with people. And something I suggest for my podcasting clients is um, to include a review of the week right off the top. So, hey guys, before we get into this week's episode, here is the details on X. You know, um, I got this review from Apple Podcasts. Sarah wrote in blank, blank, blank. And thank you so much, Sarah, for reaching out to us and for listening. We Love to hear from you, and every time you share a review with us, it lets our listeners know what they can expect from this podcast. So um, sharing a review of the week, and it doesn't always have to be from Apple Podcasts. It can be like, hey, so-and-so saw us talking about the podcast on social media, and here's what they said, or say they are a member of Podchaser or something, and they... or they listen on Google Podcasts, Stitcher. You can leave different reviews different places, so just kind of calling out the different places people leave reviews for your podcast. Okay, that's just number one, and I've got six more to get through. <laughs> All right, so um, something else you can start doing is you can create a new segment for your show. Um, one of my clients does this, it's called, uh, you know, the what's in her bag or what's in her purse segment. And it's really fun where she takes out something that she brings with her all the time and it supports her health and wellness. And so she talks about that in a special segment. And if you have something for her to share, um, or to you think she should have in her bag, it's just one more way the audience can start engaging. So those are two different ideas to maybe substitute or insert into the format of your show right now that will help you engage with your audience on another level. Number three, if you're not doing this yet, I suggest you give it a try. And it is start a newsletter or an email list for your um, podcast listeners. So just one more way to support them is to send your show notes from each episode, your main takeaways, your favorite things that happened during that conversation with whoever was on your podcast at that time. Include it in your uh, email that you send out to your listeners, everyone who subscribes to receive your newsletter. So that's one more way you can support your audience if you're not doing that yet. Um, you can give that a try. 
social media content planning. Now this <laughs> is not my favorite thing to do for myself, but so many people are amazing at this. And this is one of those where I'm going to try and take my own advice and do this a little bit more and plan out different ways you can engage with your audience at this time through social media. And there are different ways you can advertise your podcast on different social media channels. A lot of people use Instagram, some people use uh, podcasts, or some people use Facebook, <laughs> Facebook Live. Um, you can also distribute your podcast or let people know about it on LinkedIn, or you can you know, engage with communities in Quora, which is another online resource. I wanted to give you an example here of something that I did the other day that I thought would be just, a, you know, helpful for people. And I didn't even realize I was doing it just for my family and friends. So I'm planning my son Asher's second birthday and we are going to be doing a Zoom party, right? <laughs> That's how so many of us are talking these days is through Zoom. And so we are going to be doing a Zoom party and because so many people who are coming are, you know, my parents or my husband's parents or just family and friends, some of whom have never used Zoom before, I'm creating a little tutorial video for them and then I'm going to share that on YouTube and for the rest of my audience in different places and that can be part of something I plan out for my social media content calendar. So, so I challenge you to think of something that you're doing right now that could be really valuable for your audience and how you can start incorporating that into your social media planning. Um, Later.com is a really fun resource where you can place different pictures in Instagram and see how it'll look on your feed. So if you want to have a feed that looks really fancy and sparkly and pretty, that might be a resource you want to check out. And I'll include that. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm mentioning a couple different resources. I'll include them in the links below. Um, and thank you, everyone. We've got a lot of people who are joining. So thank you all for joining in. Um, next up on the list is to poll your audience. So if you um, have a podcast, then you have show notes. And every time you release a new episode, you have to write a little description. Well, something you can include is a short survey to start polling your audience. And um, that is just like a little, just like, hey, what do you like about this podcast? What don't you like? If you would like me to interview someone, um, who would it be? Is there a topic you would like me to cover specifically. And you can ask people these questions um, through the survey and get some great feedback so you can make sure you're continuously supporting them with the kind of podcast episodes that they wanna listen to while they're at home managing their new lifestyle <laughs> and balancing parenting and work and cooking meals and uh, whatever other new tasks that are now a part of your lives that maybe were not so much a part of your life uh, just a month or so ago. Um, you can also, oh, and I talked about those surveys. You can use Google Forms to create a survey. I use them all of the time. You can also use a, a website called SurveyMonkey, and I'll include those below. Um, lastly, oh wait, no, we've got two more. So number six, you can do some PR for yourself. This is super uncomfortable for a lot of people. I get it. <laughs> I am somebody who has been putting off doing PR for my podcast coaching and talent coaching company, Bright Sighted, for a while now because I really wanted to make sure I had a firm understanding of what I was doing for people before I started talking about it in a public way. Um, so I was a little bit strategic, but it took me a while to want to do any PR for myself. And also, I know I was on TV for a long time, but I don't always feel comfortable being in front of the camera. So here we are. We're still doing it. We're rocking and rolling. And so if I can do it, you can do it too. So you can do a little PR for yourself, whether it's um, getting yourself on other podcasts or perhaps it's... Um, 
doing an Insta story live or a Facebook live. Just there's a number of different ways you can start putting yourself out there that maybe you haven't before that will really support and engage with your audience. And look, we have people watching and listening now. So thank you so much for being here and being a part of this Facebook live. <sighs> okay, and the last thing, and I love this idea. I've seen people doing it and I just, I ch I'm going to challenge myself to do this. And if you uh, have a podcast and are trying to get more visibility or engage with more people and support your audience, this is something you should do. Collaborate with other people who have the same audience as you and figure out what you can give away for free. So if you can find five people who have similar audiences as you, and you can offer five different things to support people who are maybe starting a business for the first time, or maybe it's you know people who are trying to figure out how to um, be a at-home mom, or maybe people who are looking or, or not a uh, the words an at-home mama. What is what am I trying to say? Uh, one of those teachers that work from home. You know what I'm talking about? Homeschool. Homeschool. <laughs> so if you're trying to figure out how to homeschool your kids and you are, are someone who knows something people should be doing, that's a good example. Um, just as a tip. So do some giveaways. If you can give away products, great. Um, and I just really love that. Another one of my clients has, had, has done this recently and it's just really, she partnered with all of these Midwestern moms and they gave, they're gave they giving away a bunch of stuff and um, you should check her out. Her podcast is called Self Made Sister. So there you go. That are, is seven different ways to engage and support with your audience, um, your podcasting audience that maybe you haven't done yet and or you've been thinking about doing and maybe you needed one more push to go ahead and give it a try well consider this your push <laughs> um, i'm laughing a little because because i'm i i joked about how i'm losing breath because of my pregnancy and i'm sure that's something i'm going to be hearing in a couple more months so thank you everyone who tuned in to this facebook live <coughs> Excuse me. I appreciate you being here. And if you have any other questions for me, feel free to share them. And I can always comment with back and forth to you in the section below. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, thank you, everyone. And I hope everyone's staying healthy and feeling safe and just in, you know, their own homes, finding ways to keep themselves busy. And um, I just appreciate you being here. All right, I will see y'all soon. Bye.